Okay, so here we are going to do a little painting of the Griffith Observatory. Um, Where is that? That's in LA. Hmm. Um, and we're going to paint our little festival announcement with uh, maybe at sunset, hmm. LA, typical LA uh, sunset, uh, really atmospheric. Since we're talking about atmosphere, I thought it'd be a good one. The pollution. Uh huh. Hmm. Using the part particles in the air hmm. from all the exhaust in LA. Um, how it just sits there mm -hmm. um, in LA. So the first thing I painted was actually the top of that dome because it was a great way for me to just quickly figure out where's the light coming from and the mm -hmm. overall uh, for this um, kind of cool kind of diffuse light yeah. um, coming from the sky. Um, so yeah, and then getting our focal point in there, the pig. Mm -hmm. um, but you could see already like I haven't painted in the city where he's going to be looking out over this city, but even here I'm starting to think about atmosphere and how it's affecting the sky. Ah, I see, I see. So almost squinting at it like you can't really see, but there are like a cityscape kind of. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. Um, just getting, just drawing in this dome. Um, yeah. And, and that part of the Griffith. Is really so this cool. is kind of like a diffused but sky like you're painting almost with a sort of a cooler sky if you like uh -huh. a diffused light source right rather than a neutral diffused yeah. light yeah it's a cool kind of sky fill and is that though, because you have something in mind or what's that be, is that because you're you have some lighting set up in mind that you want you had instead of doing a neutral overcast like we yeah did. exactly yeah. i just imagined uh this la sunset i mean yeah. i grew up down there so you know, just painting this, how I remember um, the atmosphere. Um, and then we have this kind of hill, this foreground hill transitions into a city. And I'm really trying to stay loose with the city because yeah. I don't want to sit there and draw every building. Yeah. Um, and so that's where atmosphere actually really helps because mm -hmm. it simplifies as it goes into space, becomes these really graphic shapes. Right. Um, and you can see the influence of that blue um, way back in the atmosphere. Um, far away. Right. Wow, it really does look like a <laughs> cityscape in the in the distance, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I really tried to put it far mm. back and really get that sense of scale of the buildings and everything by really indicating in the foreground, mm -hmm. in the midground actually, um, the scale of a building almost from yeah. just the dashes of paint, yeah. um, painting some planes, um, catching some of that cool light, mm -hmm. but also the shadows, um, and letting the shadows really be cool. Um, I mean, cool, warm, sorry, warmer. That shadow being warmer, yeah, yeah. totally, mm -hmm. yeah. You can really see that in the trees, how warm that green is, uh, in the shadows versus... Yeah, um, on the cool, cool, uh, cooler, cooler side. light side, yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. Mm -hmm. I see, so here, you know, with this atmosphere affecting, uh, affecting the, uh, the look of the, the background, uh, you have this kind of blue haze over so everything if you squint hasn't changed as much as you think uh, like in the beginning you had this just a very loose blue wash uh -huh. but if you squint you still have that feeling is that kind of you were trying to capture that feeling from the get-go yeah, get yeah just to kind of get that feeling in there in the beginning um, yeah absolutely and here I'm just really refining the drawing. Yeah. But overall, with you know atmosphere, the tricky part is always the transition to me. Yeah. Like I kind of know what that value is way back from the distance, and I can look at foreground objects and and kind of see like, oh yeah, okay. But it's really that stepping back into mm -hmm. space that makes it feel atmospheric to me. It makes the space feel real. Um, right. And that's kind of where yeah things get tricky for me. And this is where I think you know a bit of the warmth of the sun hitting it. Is mm -hmm. back behind the atmosphere as well, but it's not blue. You know, it's it's a bit of there's a bit of warmth in it. Yeah, um, like a pinkish orange. Mm -hmm, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think one thing that I always used to make. You know, we talked about it a bit, but I always used to make a mistake of everything just goes blue. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, it has a tendency to feel like it's underwater when yeah. it does that. Um, so trying to avoid that. And here I'm just really refining the drawing of the tree since. They're closer objects. I just mm -hmm. wanted to put a bit more information in them. Uh, get some palm trees in there for LA. 
Um, and then I, you know, I also want to bring in a bit of warmth in this foreground light mm -hmm. um, because I feel like it's hitting that back, um, those buildings a little bit in the back, back there, back in the atmosphere. So, you know, I'm going to want to bring in some of that warmth into the foreground and into the, into the mid-ground. Oh, wow. That's the light hitting the back of the mm -hmm. dome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, so it's just warm influence. Very, very subtle. It's not as strong. Like, that's the tendency we always have when, you know, you have this sunset lighting, you kind of make it super strong, but mm -hmm. you chose very subtle because everything is cool so that it's still kind of has a nice punch without becoming too overpowering. Yeah, absolutely. It definitely, given that everything else is a bit neutral, mm -hmm. it felt like, uh, yeah, it would be too strong if I went in with like an orange light yeah. and started painting stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, that's great. So, but in this case, the atmosphere really simplified. If I, you know, again, I keep squinting at it. Uh, the atmosphere is really simplifying the background so that you still have a clear sort of, you know, uh, focus in pig pig is looking yes. at the direction so we definitely do look at that direction but pig is really the one that you, you never lose yeah um, that's the hope that's my hope so should we look at other atmospheres yeah so what would you do on top of this you know yeah let's look at the next example <laughs> 